Thank you. Um, my, my name is Aisha Abdallah. I'm the head of disputes at ALM Kenya and Jawala in Kana. I'm here because I spoke today at the opening plenary and I'm also a member of the HKIAC. I'm a member of the proceedings committee and I'm delighted to be back in Hong Kong. Well, I had a number of very good reasons. First of all, this is my second time in Hong Kong. I did come uh, previously to attend Hong Kong Arbitration Week. This was pre-COVID. Um, I think I was one of the few African speakers that were invited and I really enjoyed my time. I thought for a very small island, it's very mixed. It's a bit of a melting pot. Um, I was delighted to be able to come back again this time because I'm now a member of the HKIAC and I really wanted to support it. I think it's a fantastic event. Also, um, China is very important to us in Africa and uh, China is a leading investor and lender and has um, developed, at least in Kenya, they built our Standard Gate Railway, so many of our super highways, and we are seeing increasingly close relationships between China and um, African countries. So I think it's important that people like me visit and help foster um, bridges and relationships. Yes, so I'm, I, I, I'm not personally responsible, but we, I'm very proud to say that we are seven Kenyans so far that I've met here, and um, that may not sound like a lot among 1,300 delegates, but we've come quite far uh, using indirect uh, methods, and some of us it took almost 24 hours to arrive. I think it just shows that we are very invested in a very positive relationship with Hong Kong and mainland China. I think it's important that Hong Kong was allowed to host this event because international arbitration is meant to be global. That means it has to serve everyone around the world. And it's important Hong Kong is doing so well as an international arbitration center. This is simply a reflection of its success how far it's come and it's important for people like us in Africa to, who look up to Hong Kong and say that one day we hope to be hosting you in our countries as well. Well we had a very nice Indian dinner so one thing I like about Hong Kong is the diversity of cuisine. I love um, eating out and one of the things about visiting a place like Hong Kong is trying out new dishes and um, I'm just I just think people here are very artistic with food, so I'm really enjoying both seeing the food and then also tasting it, so wonderful. So it's been good, I mean I'm hoping to get some time to go sightseeing after Ika is over. Um, I did some before when I came, but it's, it's changed, the city has grown, it's developed, I think everybody has changed after Covid, so I, I'm looking forward to seeing what is new, what is different to my last time. I do feel that there are more foreign visitors. I've noticed, uh, you know, more diversity, and I think that's all very good. Yes, I want to do one of the ferry rides, and um, I want to see the light shows at night. Uh, I saw a little bit yesterday, but we were rushing from one event to the other. So I didn't. I, I think it's, you know, I think people who live on islands take for granted the views. I don't live on an island, so I'm very much looking forward to the views.